Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Frank Can Do It. If I can do it, so can you. This is the add-on edition for the Sushi Burrito video. If you haven't watched the original video, please click on the link below. In this edition, we'll go over the recipes for the add-on ingredients. And I will also show you where and what to buy. Alright, get ready to take a screenshot of the ingredients. Keep in mind that there will be extra ingredients for each of these add-on recipes. Let's start by going shopping. The first item we're going to buy is roasted seaweed. In Korean it's called kim and in Japanese it's nori. Make sure you buy the plain roasted sheets. Do not buy the seasoned or the sesame oil toasted seaweed that usually comes in smaller packs. The correct plain roasted seaweed sheets usually have a picture of sushi or sushi rolls. You can find it in any Korean or Japanese market. Most chain supermarkets have it in the Asian section. Next we're going to buy our sashimi. I prefer to buy my sashimi at H Mart and most major cities that I have visited have an H Mart. The packaging will clearly state whether it's prepared for sashimi or not. When choosing your salmon, look for good marbling, nice color and smooth firm meat. This goes the same for the tuna. Nice color and nice firm meat and doesn't look like it's mushy at all. Near the same section, you should be able to find the masago and the wasabi tobiko, which is also called flying fish roe. Another needed item that you can find in this section is a seaweed salad. If you're at an Asian market, you can pick up the crab flakes around this area, or you can find this at almost any supermarket. While at the Asian market, make sure you pick up some Katsuo Fumi Furukake. There are several different kinds of Furukake, so make sure you pick up this one. This will also be needed on several other of my recipes. Another very important ingredient is a crunchy butterfly shrimp. As I stated several times in the other video, do not confuse this with coconut shrimp. The packaging and the pictures are very similar. But if you get coconut shrimp, it will ruin this dish. You can usually find this at both Asian and regular supermarket chains. The last important unique ingredient that you need to find is the wonton strips. You can usually find it in most supermarkets where they have the croutons and other salad toppings. To me, this is one of the most important items to get the full experience of this burrito. Okay, first we're going to make the amazing habanero citrus sauce. Go ahead and take a quick screenshot of the ingredients. First clean and peel the oranges and the carrots. You'll also want to peel and clean the white onion and cut it into one quarter. Clean and prepare 4 to 5 habanero peppers and the peeled garlic. And make sure you have agave syrup. The first thing that we want to boil is the carrots. Since they are the most dense, you will want to boil them for at least 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, go ahead and add the habaneros and the onion. And then boil for another 2 minutes. After you have boiled all the ingredients, go ahead and drain it into your sink. Add all the ingredients with the orange and the garlic. Once you have blended all those ingredients together, go ahead and add one tablespoon of the agave and blend thoroughly.
Next, we're gonna make some Sunomo salad. Go ahead and take a quick screenshot of the ingredients. First, cut each end of both cucumbers. Then use the potato peeler and peel the sides of the cucumber. If you can't get Persian cucumbers and you use something else like English cucumbers, make sure you take out as much seed as possible. You don't have to be that thorough. Then use a slicer and very thinly slice the cucumbers. Then add half a teaspoon of salt. Mix together with your other hand while adding the salt. Then let it sit for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, take it over to a sink and cup it with your hand. Very gently squeeze and let the excess water out. Make sure you are very gentle and you don't smush the cucumbers. Then add half a tablespoon of sugar. Followed by 2 tablespoons of vinegar. And finally, 1 half teaspoon of sesame oil. Mix it thoroughly with your fingers and you're all done. Next, I'm going to show you how to prepare the sashimi. We're basically going to cut the sashimi into cubes. Make sure you have a very sharp knife and a nice clean cutting board. Remove the sashimi from its packages. Cut approximately 2 cm width slices across the sashimi. If you have fairly thick slices, go ahead and slice those slices in half. And then cut everything into cubes. Once you're done, go ahead and do the same with the other sashimi. Next, we're going to make the baked crispy kale. Go ahead and take a quick screenshot of the ingredients. Alright, you'll need a bowl of kale, an eighth teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of either almond, avocado, or olive oil. Go ahead and drizzle the one tablespoon of your oil on the kale. Then add the 1 8 teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and mix thoroughly with your hands. Go ahead and spread the kale on a baking pan. Try to spread it out as evenly as possible. Then bake it at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, Take it out of the oven and resort it so the moist kale pieces are on top and the drier ones are on the bottom. Then bake for another 10 minutes or until they're all crispy. Next we're going to make crab salad. Go ahead and take a quick screenshot of the ingredients. This is very simple. You just need a package of imitation crab salad, some best food mayonnaise, a food chopper, spoon, knife, and mixing bowl. Simply cut the crab flakes into squares.
then place it into a blender and chop. It's important to chop it into very small pieces and evenly. Once it's done, go ahead and scoop it out and dump it into a bowl and then repeat. Add some mayo and then mix. After you mix it, add more mayo to taste. Make sure your crab salad is nice and creamy. Okay, next we're going to do a simple spicy mayo. There are a lot of things you can add to your spicy mayo, but this is the fastest and quickest way to throw something together. Simply fill a small bowl halfway with mayonnaise. Then add sriracha according to how spicy you want it. Just taste it and add more sriracha if you need it. Next I'm going to show you how to prepare the bamboo sushi roller. These are about $5 on Amazon. All you need is saran wrap, a bamboo roller and probably a cutting board. Pull the saran wrap to extend well past the bamboo roller. Then grab the sushi roller along with the saran wrap and flip over. Pull another long sheet of saran wrap so it extends over. Then tuck the saran wrap over so it clings on to the other side. This makes rolling multiple burritos much cleaner. Otherwise, a lot of the ingredients will get stuck between each bamboo making it difficult to clean. Next we're going to prepare the avocado slices. In order to pit the avocado, first you will need to cut it in half. Use one hand to firmly grab the avocado while the other cuts in a straight line. Then grab each half firmly with both hands and twist in opposite directions. Then use a knife to gently strike at the middle of the pit and twist to take it out. While slipping the spoon between the outer layer and the meat of the avocado, continue to press back against the skin to maximize the amount of meat that you're getting off. Then, while guiding with your other hand, go ahead and slice the avocado in half. Continue to slice in halves until you have nice thin slices. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more simple, easy, delicious dishes, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe.